Hello everybody, so the Centre for Cross-Cultural Communication Foundation next to the Suleymaniye Mosque here in Istanbul very kindly invited me to go and spend some time cooking traditional Turkish food with the incredible Aishna Altan and of course I had to say yes. So this is this video and I hope you enjoy. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Istanbul. I'm very excited to be joined by Aishna. Hi. <laughs> if you guys saw my Ramadan fasting vlog, I actually broke my fast with her menemen recipe and I'm very excited to be cooking with her today. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, we're gonna cook uh, Ali Nazi kebab together. Uh, I actually have that uh, all the details uh, to, in my channel already shared, but uh, the special thing today is we're gonna do it with the J. The yes, J. Mm -hmm. and I'll put obviously her channel down below and all of her recipes are great, mm -hmm. so definitely go and check them out. I know him from mentioning me uh, making uh, my Menemen video, and I was very excited to see that uh, he was trying to ask him, right? Mm -hmm. And you uh, break your fast with my Menemen, so yes. it, it really, you know, <laughs> you got me <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with it. I was really uh, happy to see that, so uh, we just, you know, make a me uh, message to each other. Uh, so we are here mm -hmm. <laughs> when he came to Istanbul. So I thought, why not cooking together? So we're gonna make uh, Ali Nazi kebab today. You know, uh, we are famous for in Turkish cuisine, like having more than uh, 150 different dishes made with eggplants. Mm. Yeah. Wow, yes. that's mm -hmm. a lot. So this is one of them. So what I did here, I just um, grilled the eggplants mm -hmm. using this gadget. I did the first three, mm -hmm. and uh, since we don't have a stove top, it's just uh, on the back in the kitchen, we're gonna continue to uh, cook these just you know we first we have to prick it mm -hmm. so it's not uh, sometimes because uh, it can burst out yes mm -hmm. so you just have to pick it like uh, prick it like this you want to do it too sure. the other two <laughs> and uh, after we gonna cook it this one too please we are going to mix it with yogurt as a base I actually I have all the details in, in my uh, channel the recipe but we gonna do it uh, uh, with the J, that's the special thing <laughs> to do it this time. So um, let's take this to the uh, stove top to cook it and then continue the other step. Next we're gonna uh, prepare the top, uh, top part. We have onions and ground meat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna use salt, pepper, a little bit. Uh, do you like hot uh, heat? Uh, yes, peppers? a lot of spices. Okay, okay, lots of spices, good. So, uh, in traditionally, we don't use um, peppers, but I like to use it. It gives a nice taste and color, so I'm gonna use it. So we're gonna begin to chop it. Let me do the one, and you can do the yes, other one. Yeah? Okay. Swap side. Okay. <laughs> I'm not used to slicing with all this pressure. <laughs> mm -hmm, no, yeah, you're right, but it's okay, you know. So this is my bad chopping <laughs> skills, and this is hers. Oh, it, it's fine. Actually, give this one so it can begin to cook. Okay, he's the master chef. Now I got it. He's <laughs> 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 like uh, next to the heat. We are enjoying the <laughs> open air. <laughs> okay, how is it going? Seems good. So far. Seems good. Oh, oh yeah. You see, they are soft now. Let me show it, show it to Jay. Yeah, they become softer. Mm -hmm. They smell amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the smell is really different, you know, mm -hmm. cooking the other way. So. Because um, in the UK, whenever we cook them, we just either fry them or yeah. or roast them. Mm -hmm. This is even he healthier, of course. And we're just uh, gonna uh, sauté the onion first, then the um, ground beef and the uh, peppers. So. 
Uh, we're gonna go back and forth uh, helping Fatih to cook. <laughs> and meanwhile, I thought we can <laughs> we can make the salad. We're gonna make shepherd salad. Mm -hmm. uh, we call Choban Salatası. Have you heard? No. Okay. Uh, so it's very easy, simple. Just, you know, tomato, cucumbers. Do you have these cucumbers? These are small. I no, we have big ones. Yeah, okay. Th so these are special too. I, uh, I, if you want to try, I can give you one. Yeah, sure. To yeah. taste. The smaller one, if you like, these are clean. It would be okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. How was it being on TV? Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's been like um, it wasn't the first time I I do it like since maybe four All the years. Time. Yeah, Very four famous. Years. Yeah, not that not that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, where, but they they invite me and I go. You know, uh, they like my mm -hmm. cooking yeah. and I still since I I used to talk. Like, yeah, you're uh, very confident in front of the camera. Which yeah. Is good. Oh, thank you. Okay. Try this one. I can just use my hands. Yeah. Yes, it's of course. You use our hands. <laughs> we made you some magic mix yesterday. Would you like to taste it? This is lentil bowls. Lentil bowls. Turkish coffee as well, but you can taste it as well. Like, yeah. I made just, it. You know, I'll eat everything. Okay. <laughs> just try it, and then we can drink coffee. Try this one. I can just use my hands. Yeah, yes, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. You use our hands. Mm -hmm. And what's this called? Marjamek kapsa. And it's what's the ingredients? Uh, lentils, uh, red lentils, onions, um, tomato paste, seasonings, and some greens. <laughs> wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. And it's vegan too. It's one of my favorite foods actually in Turkey. <laughs> It's great just to get a boost of energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Like, we make some days for ladies. Can, do you mind being on camera? No, of course. We make some, day, we make some days for, with ladies and we cook like this kind of food and we eat together. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's really good. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. Here's your water. Thank you. It's served with coffee. And there is a, actually a story with the water, serving with the coffee. Uh, you guys know? What is it? The story with the serving with the water? Yes, uh, if you are hungry, you yeah. drink the water first. Oh yes. yeah, and then they don't know if they are going to bring you food, you will have the water. Yeah. Yes. And if you drink the coffee first, you're mm -hmm. not hungry. Oh, you know better than what? <laughs> <laughs> Good. So we're going to continue to uh, scoop. just yeah, scoop out the flesh and then chop it while drinking our coffee. Yes. Thank you. This is optional but it's a good option to make it even, you know, uh, flavorful. You just uh, melt the butter and uh, cook with some, again, a red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's going to create a nice uh, butter sauce. Smells incredible yeah. in here. And here, Betul is going to make a Turkish pilav for us mm -hmm. with um, uh, orza pasta. Yes. Do you know this yes. one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it, it really gives a nutty taste to uh, rice, the uh, orza browns. We're going to add the rice. Or she's gonna add the rice and cook it. Actually, I have the detailed uh, recipe on my channel too. So they can cook it. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's it. We're gonna prepare the table now and set everything together with the base, eggplant base, uh, and top the top it with meat and butter sauce and come back. <laughs> okay, so we're cooking now and the quarter prayer is going on outside. I feel like I'm living a dream. 
what we're gonna do is um, I'm gonna show you so you can do the second thing and mm -hmm. we can uh, make a closer shot. Just cut it like wow. this and it comes like very juicy. And you can just scoop out. Looks amazing. Yes, and smells like yeah. mm -hmm. Guys, I wish I could tell you the smell or show you the smell or mm -hmm. let you smell it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Smells just, incredible. Just cool. Uh, just you know, um, it is easier to uh, oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. And then open it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks yes. amazing. Mm -hmm. And scoop out. much as I can. Uh, actually, if uh, if I had a bigger, you know, uh, proper uh, knife, yeah. I would do like this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. These knives aren't yeah. that um, sharp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fine. Since it's already very well uh, juicy, it's easy to make. That's it. some salt. Yes, it. Uh, we just you can, you can add some salt. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we're ready. Just gonna see how it's finishing. Because I think I'm, I'm gonna serve it now. Put it down. It should uh, rest a little bit to have uh, fluffy, to be fluffy, but right now we don't have that much time. I'm just gonna uh, serve it now. Let's make it plentiful, <laughs> like so. And finally, the butter and red pepper flakes. Just drizzle and done.
That's really good. Yeah. Why, why really good. It, as, as... it was really amazing just to be able to sit down and have great conversations with such nice, peaceful, happy, loving people. And we just spent a lot of time talking about the Turkish culture, food, living here, what it's truly like to live here. And I feel truly blessed to be able to have these kind of conversations with such amazing people. Okay guys, so we've sat down now. We're in this beautiful area of the center. Thank you everyone for inviting me. I'm really, really blessed to have this. I will link all of their information down in the description box if you want to check them out. I really hope you do because they're incredible. Um, did you just want to explain what we have here? Yeah, uh, we made Arinazi kebab with eggplant base and uh, meat on top. And we have shepherd salad, we call it choban salatası. We have a uh, rice pilau uh, made by Betül from the center, thanks to. And also lentil balls, which we call a mercimek köftesi. And uh, the Ottoman uh, sherbet, a drink with, made with cherries, uh, spices, um, we have um, grapes and plums. Yeah, grapes, plums, and uh, some cloves and cinnamon in it. It's also very refreshing and uh, so, uh, homemade at the mm -hmm. end, not uh, store bought. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Aishina for inviting me. She has You're been, <laughs> um, well, she is the iconic Turkish food vlogger, um, blogger. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm feeling very blessed to be in this situation. Um, I've only been in Istanbul for one full day so far. <laughs> so yeah, feeling very lucky. So you can find all the recipes apart from this one down in the description box on her amazing channel. Did you just want to explain what you do on your channel? Uh, yeah, I share Turkish recipes, cultural recipes. And also I begin to make travel vlogs. Mm -hmm. And I'm really excited to show more about uh, where I live in Istanbul. I really feel blessed uh, mm -hmm. to live in a city like this. Uh, I hope you uh, come and enjoy also because we have lots of different aspects, lots of different things you can do in Istanbul. And of course, uh, you can, even though you're not going to come, you can still enjoy the Turkish uh, culture and food by uh, trying my recipes. <laughs> mm -hmm. For sure. Definitely go and check out the channel. She's including a lot about Istanbul. And as you guys know, Istanbul has my heart. So yeah, feeling very blessed. And thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video. Can I speak to your camera? Sure. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to Center for Cross-Cultural Communication. Please visit us when you come to Turkey. <laughs> Bye.